till I get my money right. Oh, I had a dream I could buy my way to heaven. When I woke, I spent that on a necklace. Got him in a second. Damn, it's so hard not to act reckless. There we go. <laughs> the human panda is in the building. What's up, Long Beach? <laughs> What's really good? So, I never had a home. I never had a home. When, when I would visit Taiwan, they'd consider me Chinese. When I visit China, they'd consider me American. And when I visited America, and I lived in America, they thought I was Korean. <laughs> and, and you know, from an early age, the thing that made me realize I was other, that I was different, that I was weird, was food. It was always food, because my mom was the ill cook, and she would always lace me with, like, the best Chinese, Taiwanese home-cooked meals to bring to school. I'd have ta sao bao, I'd have, you know, tofu and cabbage, I'd have tomato and eggs, I'd have red-cooked pork spare ribs. And I'd bring all these things to school, and I'd have a thermos of, like, oxtail soup or chicken soup. She always gave me a soup in my Ninja Turtles lunchbox. <laughs> and I'd look like all the other kids, but when I opened it up, this smells just of sesame oil and pork fat would inundate the room, and everyone thought I was the smelly kid, you know? And, <laughs> and everyone picked on me and made fun of me, so I told my mom one day in third grade, I said, Mom, yo, I gotta start eating white people food. Like, you gotta pack me some white people food. <laughs> and she was like, well, what do white people eat? And I was like, I don't know, like, sandwiches? Like, mayonnaise? You know, like, I don't know. So we went to the grocery store, and I found this thing, like, kid cuisine, and it had penguins on it, and I love penguins, just like penguins love robots. And, you know, <laughs> I... I went to school, was super excited. I had my kid cuisine, and I was the second to last in line. And I, I went to go put my food in the microwave when this kid named Edgar changed my life. He grabbed me by the shirt. He threw me to the ground and said, chinks, get to the back. It was the first time I ever heard that word chink, but I knew what that shit meant. My father told me what it meant, and he said, don't ever let nobody tell you that. And I had a choice to make. I could lay on the ground and I could take it, or I could stand and I could fight. So I threw Edgar's arm in the microwave. <laughs> and it changed my life because it, it actually, you know, it gave me the confidence because I started to fight back. But it also fucked my life up because I became a reaction. I didn't realize that by fighting, I still wasn't out from under dominant culture. I was still a slave to it because I was just a reaction. And there was, it was so ill that, you know, there was things I wouldn't even eat mayonnaise anymore. You know, because I was like, white people like mayonnaise, I'm not eating mayonnaise. You know, like, white people skateboard, I'm not skateboarding. Like, I closed off so much of the world to myself, and I was just a fool. I was ignorant. Until one day, I, I visited Taiwan again, when I was an adolescent, about 19 years old, and I went into the airport, and I saw thousands of Taiwanese people. They all looked like me, and there was cab drivers, there's engineers, there's lawyers, there's, there's punk rockers, there's skaters. Man, there's Taiwanese people in mountains. There's Taiwanese people with helmets. <laughs> There's Taiwanese people sleeping in libraries. <laughs> There's Taiwanese people in Uggs. <laughs> There's Taiwanese people in the Bang Bus. <laughs> but today, in New York City, in downtown New York, there's Taiwanese people in motherfucking Bauhaus, all right? I decided what I did was I stripped my life of, of everything that dominant culture put in my way, and I, I realized that the world really is everything that I want it to be, and that I can be anyone I want. I could blast hip-hop as loud as I want. I could dress like this and go to work. I don't got to wear a uniform. I don't got to wear a name tag. I don't have to be Taiwanese. I don't have to be Chinese. I don't have to be American. I am what I am, and you could like it or love it, you know? <laughs> and and I, 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 I built my own spaceship, that's Bauhaus with all the lights, that's the spaceship, that's the pork bun, and I just want to say, because I'm over time, but, yo, this kid changed my life when I saw this photo about two months ago, because, two years ago, because I want my son, when I have a son or a daughter, to be like this, and just realize, Virgil, Cicero, Bacon, were just young men in libraries, and he's the fucking future. <laughs>